All right. All right. It's starting out great here. Speaking of Coach Lanning, uh, we had the incredible opportunity to walk around the facility this morning, bright and early. They were so hospitable to us. And I got a chance to chat with Coach Lanning from his office. We were able to send that video back to Indianapolis. They were able to upload it into the computer. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my conversation and a look at this beautiful facility with Coach Dan Lanning. We are live in uh, Coach Lanning's office here in Eugene, Oregon. Thank you for the hospitality, sir. Thank you for coming, man. We are one day away from the massive game against the Ohio State Buckeyes. How do you feel? How are the emotions? And how do you think Eugene, Oregon's about to be? This is what college football's about. Um, I'm really excited for our team, certainly excited for our fans. This is going to be a fun one. Now, you guys are a wagon, have been for a while. First year in the Big Ten. How has that gone? Obviously, it's your first massive Big Ten test. How has the transition gone thus far, and what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, we're enjoying it. I, I think there's going to be uh, a lot of great traditions that you know get to start from this, this move for us, um, getting to play some elite teams and get to be a part of an awesome conference. Let's talk about your facility. We just walked around it a little bit. Spaceship. Dude, it's pretty awesome. In there. It is awesome out here. Team meeting room is wonderful. We're rolling some B-roll right now. The wood on the side, can you please tell me about the wood in yeah, there? Yeah, you know, they, they trimmed it down to where they're only taking 3% of the wood, like, past the eye test, and that's what got to be, you know, put up in that room. So everything in this building is the elite of the elite, and that's certainly an example of it. Yeah, we saw the weight room. Weight room looks amazing. Team meeting room looks fantastic. Your office here is great. I know there's future things coming, but how big of a difference is that for whenever your program is already ready? You know, like going to the Big Ten, you already have the facilities, you already have the team, you already have the support and the boosters. How big of a deal is that for you, I think, going into this season? What does the future look like for yeah, you? You want to be a place, uh, part of a place that's innovative, that's on the cutting edge, that's always looking for ways to grow, and that's what Oregon is. So, you know, you, you want to have the best of the best when it comes to players, when it comes to talent, uh, when it comes to people. Uh, and it, certainly when it comes to facilities. So proud that, that Oregon's always on the cutting edge there. Dumpy and I uh, just got off a 10-hour flight to get out here. It was pitch black the entire time. But once we landed here and the sun came up, it is beautiful out here. Unreal, isn't it? Is that a big part of the selling pitch? Whenever uh, people love, get yeah. I mean, you can go on a 15-minute walk, uh, even less, and you're right by a river. You're an hour from the coast. Uh, an hour from the mountains like this place is one of the most unique unique places in the world uh to see true beauty is it a good thing or a bad thing for your team to be out here you think in the big 10 oh uh, yeah i think it's a great thing i think it's a great thing because you guys are going to have to get used to the travel i guess but everybody else is only doing it like once or twice a season you guys are going to have to travel a good bit a few times yeah a couple times uh, i i think it's as big as you make it right and for us it's the enjoyment of getting to you know spend that time connecting with each other and uh certainly we'll make some some uh travel trips but uh we'll enjoy that no doubt about it what do you think ohio state's going to experience out here that they don't like kind of expect yet what do you think uh the fan base the environment's gonna uh, be our like? fans will bring it They'll, it'll be uh mm -hmm. an awesome experience i think for them to be able to experience game day here at Autzen stadium it's unique special uh in itself speaking of game day 6 a.m tomorrow morning you college ready? game day are you ready i'm pumped i'm excited to be here back to back 6 a.m shows we were in cal last week exceeded all expectations did you see that I, I got to catch some of that did not expect the that kick is what fired me up our man hitting the kick in the vans was awesome. Daniel Villa, senor. What a kick. What a kick. $700,000. The first kick was pretty good. So, he set you up. No, no, no. He set you up. I know a lot of people saying I got hustled and bamboozled and yeah. all that. But as soon as I heard the thud yeah. on, I knew I was like, oh, this kid. You got a sound for that. You yeah, this kid's got a, You do too, I assume, as a coach. Try, well, I'm not as good a specialist as you, but... Uh, yeah, big time kick. But I could hear the thud a little bit. And I think Daniel maybe has a chance. I'm like, wait a minute here. We can have a moment here. Yeah. And Daniel pulled through. Did he mess with the turf a little bit to get it right? To flatten it? Yeah, he's a civil engineer. Smart. Yeah, smart guy. Smart. What are the majors here at Oregon? Uh, civil we got, engineer. We got, yeah, like 120 different variety of majors, which I think is great for when students come here. You know, a lot of times as a freshman, you're like, I'm, I'm doing this. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm riding with. Uh, and then sometimes that freshman year, something changes. So you want to go pick a different lane. So we got a lot of choices here. Uh, sports business is one of the best in, in the nation, if not the best in the nation. So a lot of great choices. I would say the business of sport is a good one. Amen. It's a great one to be in. Lucky to be here. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Um, where are most of your guys from? All over. Yeah, all over. We got, you know, a great group from, you know, California, Texas. That's the one thing that's really cool about you walk into our locker room. It's a melting pot of people. You got guys from the islands. You got guys from the DMV, from Florida. So literally all across the nation. Uh, we have players on our team. That's not easy recruiting, especially out here. And I know I've mentioned this a few times now. 
but it does take a bit to get out here. But I feel like that is potentially a weapon for you. Do you view it that way as yeah, well? Yeah, a huge weapon, right? We, we, we challenge ourselves to go get the best of the best. And it's about, I always tell people, don't pick what's most convenient, pick what's best. And if Oregon is the best place for you, it doesn't matter if it's right next door, right? If it's the best place, it's worth traveling to get there. Two versus three tomorrow. What do you think has to happen for you guys to win? Yeah, this is going to be a fun game. I think it's going to be about the most physical team, right? Who's the most physical team uh, in the trenches? It's going to matter who can establish the run game. You know, takeaways always matter in games like this. Uh, critical situations, fourth down, red area, those are going to be really big in this game. Are you thinking about punching Ryan Day in the face before the game? No. No, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about what do I have to do for my team for us to be successful. Gumpy asked you earlier, uh, we saw the Colorado speech last year. This game isn't played in Hollywood. It's played on field. This ain't about clicks. It's about sports. <laughs> do you have your pregame speech ready to go already? No, no, I, I don't know exactly uh, yet. Where I got a direction. I got an idea of where we're going to go. I think Ohio State fans, if you listen to how A.J. Hawk has talked, has felt pretty disrespected about how the conversation has gone around this game. How do Oregon fans and the Oregon team feel about the conversation around this game? Uh, who cares? <laughs> like, who cares? It doesn't. I, we could care less about it's about playing the game, right? And uh, we're excited about the opportunity to go play this game against an elite team. Uh, they're really talented. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but we have a really good team, too. Obviously, it's October, so we still got a lot ahead of us here. How do you put that in perspective with your team about huge game, massive game, conference game, but also not end all be all, right? I mean, that is. It's the next game, right? It's the next game. There's a lot of season left to play, regardless of how this game turns out. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there for both teams. You have some of the coolest Nikes on right now. I've these, seen. Are, uh, these are some cool ones, yeah. Is your collection just absurd? It's gotten wild. It's gotten wild. It's pretty cool. What do you call him? Uncle Phil? Is that what you say? Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. I mean, Gumpy, take the, take the, I don't want to show the, we'll get a B-roll shot. All the shoes just lined up right here. Yeah. All the helmets right here. Right outside, there's a pink helmet, I think I saw, a gold helmet, a black helmet. We got, we got, we got gear. Your guys' merch and gear has been the greatest since before NIL. Like when I was going through college, same age as you, roughly, it was like, you want to go to Oregon because they get all the sweet gear. That still continues and NIL on top of it. How has this modern world been for you and as a football coach? Adapt or die, right? Um, I think, again, when you talk about Oregon, they've done an unbelievable job of adapting uh, to, to the landscape of college football, but also making sure that you don't lose sight of taking care of your players, doing a great job of making their experience here elite, and uh, Oregon does that. You're the man. Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for showing us around. Gumpy's a Canadian ship painter, and you uh, treat him like a VIP here. He is a VIP here. You're, you're a good man. Um, last question here from Connor, because I know he's going to want to ask this. How many Zins are we going to go through tomorrow during the Ohio State Buckeye game? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> he's the man. He legitimately is. They were so nice to us all morning, and uh, they have big plans for the future here about the facility. I mean, I, I literally walk into his office. There's, like, blueprints and, like, photos. 